Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your first validator on the Gaia testnet. Sorry about the cutoff. So the important thing is you have Go installed. I'm not going to explain how that works here. If you have questions, just ask in the chat. The first thing is we're going to do is we're going to download the Gaia source, uh, source files. Then we're going to build them now. Now we download the dependencies. And by the way, I've cut some parts of the video so I'm not going to show you the entire download process. And now we're going to install the binaries. All right, now we can check which two binaries were installed, which is Gaia and Gaia CLI. And Gaia CLI is a light client towards a Gaia full node. Um, it essentially does key management for you. So here we're now creating a new key named Adrian. Now we can steal my money, by the way. So here we can see our key. I'm saving the address of the key into an environment variable called my address because we will need this later. Now we need the Genesis files for the test for the Gaia or for the Atlas testnet, which runs Gaia. Um, so I'm downloading them here into test nets, into, yeah. Exactly, so these are our testnet files. Now we're going to navigate into the Atlas testnet. And here we can see the Genesis files, so the things um, all nodes need to have before starting. I'm saving a second environment variable just so that we have an easy reference to this location. And now we're going to start the node. So I pointed to the correct directory where the Genesis files live and now the node is starting. And by the way, this can take a while. And it's now that it's syncing with the network. Here again, I'm creating an environment variable, um, Gaia net, um, just as before. And now we're going to extract the private key of our validator node. And by the way, these files were automatically generated when you started your Gaia node. And this is simply copy and paste, by the way. And now we have a third environment variable, pub key. And now we're going to initialize um, our light client against the local, um, local full node that's running on our machine. And this is the one trusted, uh, trusted step. Now you need to check that the validator hash matches what you expect it to be. There will be another video that explains this. Because I open a new terminal window, I, I have to reset, I have to set my address as an environment variable again. And now I can query my address. Um, since this is a completely fresh account, there is no value yet or no tokens yet stored under my account. Now I can query the current validators. And this, once you have, once some of us have sent you some tokens, uh, now you could start bonding them. And this is the transact, this is the command to bond transactions. Now you have to enter your password to unlock the account. Thank you very much.